We've learnt over the years that having a referee is a good thing. For Govern to be a, a referee to make sure the sportsmanlike conduct. Now you probably think that businesses in the UK can't lie about the products that they sell because there are rules and regulations and if they did, they'd end up in serious trouble. But what if no one was enforcing the rules and regulations that are in place? Would businesses really adhere to them if there was no consequence? This is a radiator that I purchased from a well-known website. In fact, I purchased five radiators from five different websites. All of them stated that these radiators have comparatively high heat outputs. However, all of them are lying, and I'm about to prove it to you. In order to comply with British standards and to be sold legally in the UK, a radiator's heat output must be tested by a notified body and the heat output advertised for the radiator must be backed by the test results. The unfortunate truth is that there are millions of radiators sold every year that have not been tested and the heat outputs being advertised are overstated. Why does this matter? Because it affects the efficiency of your heating system and ends up costing you money in higher heating bills. I'm going to take these five radiators, all purchased from prominent websites in the UK, to a regulated lab and have them tested so we can see what the actual heat outputs are and then compare them back to the heat outputs being advertised at the point of sale. I'm not going to name the websites that these radiators have been purchased from, as we're not trying to pick a fight with any particular business. These are just examples, there are countless more, as this issue is seriously widespread and goes way beyond the examples used in this video. The reason for making this video is to call on the government to do its job to protect you, the consumer, and start enforcing the regulations that are in place. So here we are at Bisria HQ in Brackville. Now Bisria are the only lab in the UK that are authorised for the testing of radiator heat outputs. So in order to carry a UKCA mark, radiators must be tested here at Bisria. So let's get these rads tested. The core objective of this testing is to determine the appliance's standard thermal outputs. This is achieved using a specific mathematical formula that accurately assesses the appliance's performance. In order to qualify as an authorised lab or notified body, the lab must have a test installation just like this one. This is currently the only qualified test installation in the UK. The test installation is a closed, unventilated booth designed with water-cooled surfaces this unique setup maintains specific thermal conditions, ensuring accurate testing regardless of external environmental factors. Before a radiator is installed in the test chamber, measurements are taken with calibrated tools in order to ensure that the actual measurements of the radiator are within the allowed degree of tolerance of the measurements stated by the manufacturer. Once measurements have been taken, the radiator is installed in the test chamber and left for a period of around eight hours. During this time, the sensors in the test chamber take continuous measurements which are passed back to the computer where the results are recorded. So with the RAS dropped off for testing, let's head back to Colchester and wait for the results. Right, the results are in guys and it really is as bad as we thought. In fact, in some cases, it's actually a lot worse. Now for simplicity, all of the heat outputs I'm about to quote are stated at Delta 50. Radiator 1 had an advertised heat output of 953 watts, which is 3,250 BTUs. The test results show an actual heat output of only 760 watts, equivalent to 2,592 BTUs. That's an overstated heat output of 25%. Radiator 2 had an advertised heat output of 1,026 watts, which is 3,500 BTUs. The test results show an actual heat output of only 786 watts, equivalent to 2,680 BTUs. That's an overstated heat output of 31%. Radiator 3 had an advertised heat output of 927 watts, which is 3,160 BTUs. The test results show an actual heat output of only 738 watts, equivalent to 2,517 BTUs. That's an overstated heat output of 26%. Radiator 4 had an advertised heat output of 988 watts, which is 3,371 BTUs. The test results show an actual heat output of only 716 watts, equivalent to 2,442 BTUs. That's an overstated heat output of a whopping 38%. And finally, Radiator 5 
had an advertised heat output of 889 watts, which is 3,034 BTUs. The test results show an actual heat output of only 712 watts, equivalent to 2,428 BTUs. That's an overstated heat output of 25%. For comparison purposes, this is a UK radiator's column radiator. This is the UK radiator's website where the radiator is being sold. Here is its advertised heat output. This is the test report that backs it. And as you can see in the report, the heat output in watts is exactly as stated on the website. This is how radiators are supposed to be sold by law. The five radiators that we have tested as part of this exercise are just a tiny sample taken at random. There are in fact millions of radiators sold every year with significantly overstated heat outputs. Given the impact that this has on the efficiency of a central heating system over the lifetime of these radiators, I would estimate the cost to the British people to be in the billions. So we have to ask ourselves, why is nothing being done about it? I recently heard Rishi Sunak talking about the government's role in regulating business practices, that they see themselves as like a referee in a football match. You talk about referee and that's what we're trying to When I heard this, given all that I know about these issues surrounding radiators, I couldn't help but think of that famous football chant. You know the one. In all seriousness though, it's vital that we see change and that we see it now. Every day that goes by, more radiators are being sold with overstated heat outputs, impacting more and more people's heating bills, as well as pushing the UK's net zero targets further out of reach. So please share this video to raise awareness, and please, if you can, sign our petition and help us call for action, as the government must step in, do its job, and bring an end to this scandal. Thank you.